Hey guys, lasers have been one of the most requested new products for Milwaukee in a long time. Being late to the game, they knew, Milwaukee knew they had to pretty much up their ante a little bit to differentiate themselves and innovate in that space. So they came out with these five new lasers and they focused on improving efficiency for layout and installation applications. Their goal was to eliminate performance pain points. What I mean by that is they, they focused on rechargeable solutions pushing all day runtime on the lasers with high visibility green. Now these five new lasers, uh, they're a little bit different. There's, there's three of one type and two of another. The, there's the M12 363 plane laser. There's the M12 crossline and plum point laser. And then there are three other lasers and these are powered by their red lithium USB batteries. And uh, it's a green cross line with a plum point, a green cross line laser, and a, um, a three point laser, points up, down, and straight. So green, why green? Studies have shown that our eyes see green better than any other color, day or night. Red lasers are certainly better visible in low light conditions. Think about red lights for night vision and stuff, but the human eye naturally detects green with ease and it allows it to appear brighter, especially in daylight conditions. And that's when we struggle with lasers. There's a really cool feature on these particular lasers I wanna to talk to you guys about. All of them have a micro control pivot point on it. And it basically delivers precise control uh, for faster kind of point, point to point or lining adjustments. This control is a nice feature and one that really eliminates that fight trying to get the laser lined up on or dialed in on your line. Uh, the laser also has these rare earth magnets. Uh, they're really strong. They secure and ensure a really, really strong hold and no slide on metal surfaces. One nice thing about these lasers is that they have a pendulum lock tied into the on off dial. That means no more forgetting to lock the laser pendulum when you're transporting or storing your laser. Um, the lock is also great when you're installing say stair railings or tile or applications where you don't really need a, a plumb line, you just need a straight line, maybe a diagonal line. Um, but if you do want to uh, live in plumb and, le and uh, level, you do need to leave the laser unlocked because then it will self-level. All of these lasers are IP54 rated. What does that really mean to you? The first digit pretty much represents protection against ingress of solid objects. Think dust. The second digit represents ingress to liquids think water or coffee, the larger the value of that number, the greater the, uh, the protection. So these are IP55, IP55. So the five means protection against dust ingress and the four is protection against splash water. And that protection is from any direction. All of these lasers are listed as class two. Lasers are classified for safety purposes and it's based for their potential to cause injury to the human eye and or skin. Now class two lasers, uh, their output power is below one milliwatt uh, and they emit visible light only. So that means that um, the rating, it's not normally gonna hurt somebody's eye unless they deliberately stare into the beam. All right, let's talk about what I think about these two, these five lasers, the 12s versus the USBs. The, um, the cross, the 360 three plane laser, uh, and the crossbeam uh, plumb point laser, they work off of M12 batteries, and you can expect 15 hours of continuous runtime on these on these batteries. The M12 lasers target existing M12 tool users and the rechargeable 12 volt competition out there in the market. Um, the laser is able to work off of pretty much all M12 batteries um, compatible up to six amp hours. And you're gonna see them compete. They're looking to compete with the DeWalt, Bosch, Hilti, Makita, and Spectra rechargeable batteries, lasers. 
Now the USB rechargeable um, lasers, the cross point and the cross plumb point and then the, just the point, um, they work off of a USB battery and it's kind of like a, um, a little rechargeable battery and one of these USB red lithium batteries is equivalent to 6,000 alkaline batteries. So that's gonna just eliminate the dependency on disposable batteries, that's a win. The USB battery can be charged either in the product, charged through a charging port, or as a, in a separate charger, which is an accessory. One cool feature with these USB um, lasers though is that you can charge and operate the laser while you're uh, attached to a charging cord and say an M12 or an M18 battery with a USB plug, that's pretty cool. Um, with USB charging, Milwaukee is pretty much going after the alkaline battery lasers, you know, DeWalt PLS, Hilti Bosch. Alkaline lasers, the U they struggle basically to achieve all day runtime. They don't get it, especially when you're in a green laser. So users are forced to pretty much choose. You want runtime using a red laser or you want visibility using a green laser. But the struggle is real if you're trying to achieve both. So the expectation performances with AA batteries, it just, it's not there. Um, using the batteries, uh, I should say, using the lasers, I use the cross-line lasers and the three-plane laser the most. Um, I'm pretty much using it for plumb and, and level line applications, trim work, cabinetry. The lasers are easy to operate. They adjust beautifully. I like that micro knob adjustment. It's super nice feature. And one that's been kind of overdue, uh, long overdue with small lasers. One, um, there is a mode button on the side and that's how you uh, cycle through, plumb, level, cross. And as far as the line goes, I found the green line is bright and crisp. The longest distance that I personally used and tested at was about 45 feet. Um, but the M12 lasers have a working distance of up to 125 feet without the um, a, a, a range detector uh, and the USB go up to 100 feet. All the lasers have a plus or minus of one eighth of an inch uh, accuracy over 33 feet. All right, for runtime, the USB three point laser, it's gonna give you 15 hours of runtime. It's just three dots. The USB cross line and the cross line point, they'll give you eight hours of runtime. And then when we go over to the M12s, you're gonna get 15 hours of runtime. Well, with this guy, you're gonna get, um, it's gonna become with a three amp hour CP battery. And with the bigger, Three plane one, it's gonna come with a four amp hour XC battery. So that's gonna give you 15 hours of runtime. All right, let's talk about price because lasers aren't cheap and Milwaukee is no exception. We all know that. The M12 Green 360 three plane laser comes as a kit. It's gonna be $599. The M12 Cross Line Plum Point laser comes as a kit is $499 and also as a bare tool at $399. And then we have the Red Lithium, the Line and Point Kit is gonna be 349, the cross line laser is 299, and then last is the three point um, kit, is gonna be 249. So um, they come pretty much as, as uh, with the chargers, the batteries, they do offer three different accessories. They're sold separately, and but at least the kit, the, ca the, the cases, actually have compartments for the accessories, which is pretty good. One thing I was disappointed was that Milwaukee doesn't offer a tripod or some sort of a mounting pole accessory. I, I hope they come out with something like that. Currently I'm using the Bosch telescoping pole system and a small camera tripod, which is not fun because it, it's hard to move up and down. All right, let's talk about those accessories though. The accessories, there's a responsive laser alignment target. That's gonna be around 499. There's a 360 laser bracket. It's gonna be 60 bucks and a track kit for like uh, acoustical tile. $25. The responsive laser target is a high visibility illumination little target for fast alignment. The bracket, it features a multi-plane rotational adjustment for um, adaptable placement, basically overhead or vertical or horizontal surfaces. This is going to allow you guys to set up your laser, you know, on narrow material. Um, think horizontally like a pipe or a ductwork and still maintain contact with those four magnets. Um, it, it worked very nicely. It also uh, it also can attach overhead and keep the laser upright so that you can still self-level, which is a nice. I also liked the bracket has a, um, a dial knob and it gives you a three inch up-down adjustment. And that I love that because that just dials you right into your line. Um, on the track clip, clip accessory, it's designed for quick connections and securing on um, you know wall angle and it features rubber teeth and a low profile head, just clicks right in there. Co 
currently, Milwaukee uh, green lasers, they ship in, in red molded cases, right? I mentioned that with the accessories. I was kind of disappointed though that Milwaukee is not releasing these lasers with Packout. Uh, there's no plans for that right now, but I'm sure that in the future, uh, it seems like a no brainer to me that they will do that. So, you know, we know that's coming. Okay, my overall thoughts on these lasers. The Milwaukee Rechargeable Green Lasers are an excellent new addition to the tool line. The, um, the USB laser option is certainly a rechargeable solution. Um, you do have to set it up like, you have to set up and charge it with like a phone charger and a cord. I kind of, I prefer using a battery. Um, my favorite lasers are the M12s and I'll tell you why. I want to be able to, I don't want to deal with a flimsy cheap charging cord or a charging block. I'd rather just use the charger that I'm working off of with my tools. That makes sense. Um, I don't know, I just, I just prefer to just keep it on the battery platforms. I found that the green lasers, they were super bright, crisp lines. Um, high visibility, great for professional users. This is, this is a pro grade tool. Robust, fast horizontal and vertical alignment of lines. Uh, easy to operate lasers, precise leveling, um, self leveling. I love the pendulum lock on the switch and it's indoor outdoor because of the green lasers. The bottom line, the Milwaukee laser is gonna give you years of re reliable service and I think they did a nice job on this guys. A little pricey, but nice job. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up, comment, we love hearing from you guys and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of our content, our head-to-head -head articles or tool reviews. Don't forget to follow Toolbox Buzz on Instagram. We just hit 100,000 subscribers. We'll see you here at the next tool review. Take care.